What's up guys, it's Nick with Two Brothers Comics. I just picked up a couple of keys from the presser. Stay tuned and I'll show you what they are. Alright, so I had a couple of books I sent off to get pressed and cleaned. Uh, I wasn't sure if I'm going to submit them to CGC and I'm still not. Now each one of these books I picked up for a different reason and uh, kind of came across them, across them in a different way. Uh, so the first one I picked up and sent off to the press was Giant Size Defenders, issue number three. Now, if you're not familiar with Giant Size Defenders, issue number three, it's actually the first appearance of Korvac. And if you're not familiar with Korvac, I highly suggest you go check it out, especially if you're into the spec game. This guy right here may be a big key in the MCU in the future. So uh, again, I'm not really a spec guy, but I basically buy this anytime I see a copy of it. This is my third or fourth one I've owned. I've given one away, um, and then I had another one that had a uh, covered <laughs> tape pull once I bought it. The guy shipped it to me, and then it showed up, had a big tape pull across the cover that wasn't in the photo, so I got rid of it. But this book right here, absolutely love it. And uh, I think it's going to be one of those books that uh, may end up being, I don't want to say a long-term hold, but if you're in a speculation, this book goes for anywhere from 20 to about 40 bucks, depending on the grade. Never a bad buy, uh, especially when it has a uh, pretty big uh, first appearance like Korvac. So I think he's definitely an undervalued uh, comic book character and one I think we might end up seeing in the MCU at some point. So let me know your thoughts on that. And uh, I just really love the cover. All right, this next book, I think everybody's going to be super familiar with it as soon as I show it. I won't even have to tell you what it is. You're going to know what this book is. It's been a book that everybody has basically been speculating on the last year or two. Um, and I know, man, there are a lot of people out there that they buy every copy they can get. I was fortunate enough to buy this on a Facebook auction. I paid $30 for it, 30 bucks for this book. When I show it to you, you're going to be quite shocked. I was. Uh, I don't think the guy realized what he had, and to be honest with you, I didn't realize what it was. At the time, I bought it a couple of years ago for 30 bucks. Finally, finally decided to get it pressed and cleaned, and uh, this thing came back looking pretty good. Fantastic Four Annual, six. So again, it's the King Size Special, number six. No mistaking what this book is. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Came back looking wonderful. Is this going to be, you know, super high grade? No, but it looks a thousand times better than what it did when I sent it off. And uh, again, if you see this book for a great price, 30 bucks, I'm going to buy it all day long. Uh, the colors look pretty solid. It pops pretty well. Yeah, there's a bit of a Mylar effect on it, but awesome book. I love it. I'm probably going to send it off to get graded just because this is a key that keeps going up and up. And if I do ever decide to sell, this is one of those books that you just, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have graded uh, to get the most out of it. Next book is one that I didn't even mean to purposely buy. I bought a, a gentleman's collection. He had it at an antique booth that he owned. He was getting rid of a ton of stuff. It had a whole bunch of old uh, kind of cartoon comics. And I kind of liked that stuff, so I offered him a little bit. He took it and uh, he was happy, I was happy. Really, there was nothing great in there. Dustin took the collection home and sorted through because that's kind of our agreement. I would buy, he would filter through them. And uh, we ended up finding this book and uh, really excited about it. So I'll show it to you now. Hong Kong Fui, number one. And uh, it's a Charlton Comics, Hong Kong Fui. If you're not familiar with him, check him out. Really an awesome book. It's his first appearance him here. And uh, when we first got this book, guys, all these books were so beat up. But when I tell you guys the spine sat over here, I'm not kidding. I mean, the spine looked awful. And whenever I got it back, uh, Josh, my local comic shop owner, he goes, man, I think he swapped your book. But uh, no, he just did a really, really good job pressing and cleaning the book. This was one I just loved the book. Um, there is some, you know, some value to it in a certain grade with it being his first appearance. But honestly, I just wanted it to present well and it looks really, really good, guys. So Hong Kong Fui, number one. Fantastic Four, number six. 
Giant Size Defenders number three. So those are the three books I got back from the press and clean. Uh, I'm still contemplating whether I want to send these off and get them graded. I don't really grade a whole bunch of my personal stuff, but if I think I'm gonna sell it at some point, I might. So these two I think for sure will probably get sent off and be graded, um, but I'll, I'm still gonna contemplate on it, right? This one, this one's still somewhat rough. Uh, I think, I think, you know, that one may need to go up a little more in value before it makes sense uh, to actually spend the money on it. And then this one, I think this may just be a book we display, um, but we'll see what, what we end up ultimately deciding to do. So thank you over to Larry over at Huntsville Comic Book Pressing Services. So he's a local guy here, uh, pressurecomics.com. He also has a Facebook page. Um, I've sent a couple things through to him, so he does a great job. So thank you so much for you to you. Everybody, thank you so much, as always, for liking and subscribing to the channel. And uh, don't forget to turn on that notification bell because if I do decide to send these off, I'll put up a new video and show you. And thank you so much for being the best part of Two Brothers Comics. And as always, collect your way.